When it comes to educational anime, we got our fair share, from learning about how to make tomodachis to learning about fashion. But when it comes to absolute science and education, the title for best educational anime would go to Dr. Stone. And when I say best educational anime, I mean anime that should be implemented into every high school curriculum across the world. Now I know what you're thinking. Dr. Stone? An anime about a doctor taking care of stones? Close but no. At first I thought it was a show about a guy with stone powers, but I was wrong too. This anime was purely scientific. We were introduced to the Einstein of Einsteins. In episode 1, we were introduced to Ishigami Senku, who is a 16 year old dude with a passion for science. But a few minutes later, Senku got a little growth spurt and grew just about mm, 3,700 years. Not much, I know. But it wasn't just him, it was the whole of mankind. For some unknown reason, the whole world was enveloped in a bright green light and every living human was turned to stone. Now, Senku being the good old Einstein Jr. who learned all there is to know about science since he found out that Fireburn Paper was the very first person to get out of the petrification state. Now, some of you may ask, how the hell did Senku know that 3,700 years have passed since the petrification? Simple. He counted. That's right, folks. Good old Scallion Head counted the seconds for 3,700 years without missing a single second. That's just a fraction of Senku's greatness. Now, Senku revives his BFF Taiju and decides to resurrect the whole planet. Which seemed pretty impossible to me. Well, with each passing experiment, calculation, and scientific feat, you start believing that he could actually pull it off. I mean, this is someone who got from making a fire out of sticks and stones to making a damn telephone. Still not convinced that he can pull it off? The dude made cotton candy. And a bottle of coke. In a world that was brought back to the dark ages. If you're still not convinced after all this, then I suggest you read the manga. Cause I ain't gonna say what other monstrosities he made in the manga. You'll just have to find out yourself. But in all seriousness, things started looking really bad for Senku, Taiju, and Yuzuriha. Oh, Yuzuriha is the girl Taiju has been crushing on for the past 3,705 years. The thing is, Senku revived the strongest man alive in order to protect them from some angry lions who escaped from a local zoo. His name was Tsukasa. Now, this extraordinarily strong human didn't really like the idea of Senku reviving everybody. Tsukasa wanted to destroy the adult statues and keep the kids and the teens. So Tsukasa now saw Senku as a threat and decided to kill him. Which he did. But we managed to find out that they, uh, by being petrified, the petrification state also fixes everything that's wrong with your body. Including deadly diseases. You could be petrified as an old dude with back problems and wake up as a 10 year old inside an 80 year old body. Pretty neat. So in the end Senku was brought back to life. He then tells Taiju and Yuzuriha to go back and stay with Tsukasa and pretend that Senku is actually dead. While Senku will go somewhere else and prepare to go to war with Tsukasa. Now this is where things get interesting because it turns out that there were other people who were actually alive in that stone world. Turns out they were from a village called Ishigami Village. I know, that's Senku's name. Why does it have Senku's name you ask? Because it turns out that Senku's old man was in space with some other dudes when everyone turned to stone. So they kind of started civilization from scratch. And so Senku had to go through a long process of getting the villagers trust and getting them to work with him and join the kingdom of science and go to war with the Tsukasa Empire. There is no way you won't love Senku. With each passing episode, you get to love him even more. And not just him, but every character has something that you will fall in love with. Not to mention that everything Senku does will captivate you. All his experiments and everything he makes is amazing. Seeing them getting made from scratch and all the steps they take to get them done is what actually captivated me. And the process of making them is just as great. When he said he was going to make a telephone, it seemed impossible. But he did it. Now, Dr. Stone is truly an anime that every weeb and weeblin must watch. And if you can't wait for season 2, then read the manga. But if you haven't watched it yet, then go do it. Right now. Trust me, you're gonna see some really amazing things.